gentlemen, the president of the Sugar Bowl, Mr. Paul de Blanc. It gives us a great deal of pleasure to present some of the thrills and excitement of the 23rd annual Sugar Bowl Carnival of Sports, culminating on January the 1st, 1957, in the great game between Baylor and Tennessee, acclaimed by many as the number one bowl game of the year. We hope you can be with us in person for the next Sugar Bowl presentation to enjoy the hospitality of New Orleans, rich in romance, history, industry, and just plain fun. We are deeply grateful to the universities of Tennessee and Baylor for such a fine contest and to all of the participants for their contribution to such a magnificent season. Now, here is Mel Levitt with his narration program. Thank you, Mr. DeBlanc. Appearance of stars from England, Australia, Canada, Brazil, Cuba, and Chile give the Sugar Bowl Tennis Tournament an international flavor. A capacity crowd was in attendance at the New Orleans Country Club on each of the three days of the tournament. Tom Brown of San Francisco in the forecourt and Mervyn Rose, Aussie Southpaw, reached the finals. And their match, won by Brown in five sets, produces some of the greatest tennis ever witnessed in New Orleans. Here's a close-up of singles champion Tom Brown. Brown is shown here with the Sugar Bowl trophy. In the doubles, Sidney Schwartz and Tut Bartson were winners in straight sets. Amateur boxers representing Chicago and New Orleans were participants in the Sugar Bowl's annual boxing tournament. The action was spirited in every one of the eight bouts and the fans were enthusiastic in their applause. The Chicago team, coached by Johnny Coulomb, was favored, but the New Orleans youngsters upset the Windy City delegation and win six bouts to two. Individual awards and team trophies were presented at the conclusion of the tournament. A fleet of 105 boats sailed in the annual Sugar Bowl Regatta on a calm Lake Pontchartrain. New event on the program, a penguin race for collegiate skippers attracted crews from 12 universities and colleges. The winner is Alan McClure of Loyola University of the South. Feature event is the race of champions with skippers and crews of 12 Gulf Yacht Clubs entered. The winner, determined in a series of three fishboat races, is Gilbert Gray, former Olympic sailing champion. Here's Skipper Gray with the Sugar Bowl trophy. The annual Sugar Bowl basketball tournament in Loyola University Fieldhouse had its share of surprises. The first game on opening night when the Cougars of the University of Houston upset the Crimson Tide of Alabama to qualify for the finals, winning 76 to 68. Then the Gobblers of Virginia Polytech meet the Kentucky Wildcats and led by Terry Penn, number 20, and Lewis Mills, 23, small but swift moving guards, the Gobblers give the Wildcats the scare of their lives. With 24 seconds to go, VPI leads by three points, but Kentucky rallies. John Brewer hits with a jump shot before the final whistle, and the Wildcats win by one point, 56 to 55. In the championship contest, Kentucky hits its peak form and practically rewrites the Sugar Bowl record book. The Wildcats roll up 111 points against Houston in the wildest scoring spree in the history of the tournament. Adolf Rupp's protégés control the backboards, hit from every angle, and romp to their fourth Sugar Bowl title. Individual awards are presented to each player in the tournament. Ed Beck, six foot seven inch Kentucky center, is voted the outstanding player in the tournament and receives his award from Chairman Claude Simons. World's record holders and Olympic stars were among the participants in the Sugar Bowl track meet, staged under sunny skies and in summer-like weather. They're on their marks in the hurdles, set now, and they're off. Joel Shankle of Duke University skims over the high hurdles in effortless fashion, quickly moves into the lead, 
increases his advantage with every hurdle and hits the tape well ahead of the field in 14 seconds flat, a new Sugar Bowl record. Here's the winner, Joel Shankel of Duke University. Four teams answer the call for the 400 meters relay race. They'll start in staggered lanes. And they're off. North Texas State sprints into the lead with Houston in closest pursuit. But Boyd Dollar finishes fastest of all, and the teachers win. Texas is second, Houston third. And here's the winning 400 meters relay team. Now they're on their marks in staggered lanes for the 400 meters dash. They're set. And they're off. Eddie Southern of Texas on the rail sets a fast pace. Southern comes into the stretch running smoothly and reaches the tape yards ahead of his nearest rival, Brooks Patrick of Texas. The time is 47.2 seconds. Here's Eddie Southern of the University of Texas. Fourth event is the 100 meters dash. They're on the mark. Set now and off. Bobby Mack of LSU and Bobby Wilden of Texas get off fastest, but Dave Syme of Duke in lane two sprints to the front quickly and flashes to the finishing tape yards ahead of the field. The time is 10 and 2 tenths seconds, a new Sugar Bowl mark. The field goes off for the 1,500 meters run. John Macy of Houston in the red jersey goes out to set the pace with Joe Villarreal of Texas in pursuit. Villarreal and Bill Tidwell of Kansas State take over as they go into the final lap. Fred Dwyer moves into the lead in the back stretch and battles it out with Tidwell into the stretch. But Tidwell has the finishing kick and he drives to the tape ahead of Dwyer in three minutes, 51 and two tenths seconds, a new Sugar Bowl record. Here's Bill Tidwell of Kansas State Teachers College. Final event on the Sugar Bowl program is the 1600 meters relay race. Four teams entered, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana State, and Houston. Louisiana State makes the first exchange on the last lap but Texas comes on fast. Anchorman Bobby Wilden of Texas and Harry Carpenter of LSU fight it out. But in the last strides, the high-stepping Tiger forges ahead to win. The experts and officials select Dave Syme as the outstanding athlete in the meet. And now, let's go to Sugar Bowl Stadium. The Baylor and Tennessee football teams come onto the field for pregame warm-ups. This is Sam Boyd, coach of the Baylor Bears. And Baylor's co-captains, Bobby Jones, starting quarterback, and Tony DeGrazier, senior and starting left end. Coach Wyatt of Tennessee, selected as Coach of the Year by the Football Coaches Association. And this is Tennessee's captain, John Gordy, a tackle. There's a fanfare to herald the Sugar Bowl queen. Miss Sherry Yarborough and her court of 21 festival queens ride into the stadium in Oldsmobile convertibles. Miss Yarborough is greeted by Sugar Bowl president Paul DeBlanc as she alights from her Oldsmobile to be escorted to the podium. President DeBlanc crowns Miss Yarborough and then he bestows a kiss on the pretty queen of the 1957 Sugar Bowl. Tulane University's Naval ROTC cadets under the direction of Colonel Roberts and 64 color bearers Enter the stadium and march to the center of the field. Dr. J.D. Gray of the First Baptist Church of New Orleans delivers a prayer for peace. Now the fans stand and sing as the American Legion, Baylor, and Tennessee bands directed by Major Walter Riba play the national anthem and old glory is raised to the flagpole atop the stadium. It's nearing 
game time now. Time for the start of the 23rd annual Sugar Bowl Classic. The Baylor Bears in their green jerseys race onto the field to the cheers of the Texas Rooters. And the Volunteers of Tennessee in orange jerseys come in from the West Gate. Captain John Gordy of Tennessee and co-captains Bobby Jones and Tony DeGrazier of Baylor meet for the toss. Tennessee wins the toss. Elects to kick off and defend the south goal. Baylor will receive, defend the north goal. And now here's the whistle. Sammy Burklow kicks off to start the game. The ball goes deep to Baylor's four-yard line. Bobby Peters takes it in and races immediately through a gap in the Tennessee defense to the 44-yard strike, where Johnny Majors pushes him out of bounds. It's a 52-yard return. Now it's Baylor's ball at Tennessee's 44. Jones calling the signal. He hands off to Del Schaffner, gains three at left guard and a quick opening play. Second down and seven. Dupree takes the handoff over right guard and it's five more yards with Howe making the stop. Third and two, Schaffner takes the handoff now over right guard, a pickup of two yards and the first first down of the game. First and 10 at Tennessee's 34 yard line. Jones the quarterback, fakes fades to pass. But he decides to keep the ball, reverses his field completely and he goes around right end for a gain of nine yards. Baylor's ball, Peters takes the handoff, smashes through right guard, breaks into the clear, goes to the Tennessee eight before Majors finally brings him down. It's another first down for the Bears. The Bears threatening, Schaffner takes the handoff from Jones. Gets up the middle, it's a one yard gain with Howe making the stop. Peters leaps over the middle of the line for a gain of three yards. Atkins makes the tackle. It's third down, five yards to go. Jones calls a signal. Keeps tries to sneak, but he gets only a yard. But wait, Baylor is penalized. Five yards for delaying the game, and the ball goes back to the Tennessee nine. Baylor will try for a field goal. Don Perry to kick the ball. Jones will hold. Here's the snap. It's spotted. The kick's in the air, but it's wide to the left and no good, and the ball goes over to Tennessee on her 20. First and 10 for the Volunteers, the 20-yard line. Single wing is to the right. Tailback Johnny Major skirts left end for three yards before Peters trips and brings him down. Here's Majors calling the signals, and he quick kicks. The ball hits in the Baylor 35, takes a reverse spin, is caught and grounded by Anderson of Tennessee on the 40. So it's Baylor's ball again. First and 10 in her 40-yard line. That's Humphrey at quarterback. He hands off to Soggy, who slips and falls, but he gains a yard. Humphrey calling signals again. Beal takes a handoff, gets two at right guard. Johnson and Gordy combine on the tackle. Humphrey, the quarterback, fades and passes. It's intended for Miller, but it's out of his reach and almost intercepted. Third down, eight yards to go. And now Baylor goes into punt formation. Schaffner back. There's the long snap, and Schaffner punts. Tennessee safety man Johnny Majors takes the ball in Tennessee's 13. Shift to lead. He fades one tackler, sidesteps another, and goes up the sideline for an 18-yard return. Tennessee's ball, first and 10 of the 31. The single wing to the right. On the draw play, Bronson, the fullback, goes up the middle for eight yards. Now it's single wing left. Majors has the ball, can't find a receiver, decides to run. And he takes off around right end for five yards and the first down before Miller finally makes the tackle. The ball's in Baylor's 43, first and 10. Fullback Bronson dives over the middle for a gain of four yards. Peters checks his advance. Tennessee single wing to the left. Majors tries to run right end, but he's thrown for a loss of two yards by Pearson Miller. That makes it third down, eight to go on the 46. It's Bronson again. He breaks through the middle and rambles for 16 yards before Saki brings him down on Baylor's 38. Single wing to the right. Johnny Majors takes the pass from center, looks downfield and throws a lob pass. Intended for Cruz, but it's short, and Art Beal intercepts on the Baylor 21. So it's first down for the Bears. 21-yard line, Humphrey calling the signals, hands off now to Beal. And Art goes over left tackle for four. Burnham makes a stop. Humphrey, the quarterback for Baylor, hands off to Del Schaffner. 
Dell gains Ford right tackle before Bano checks him. It's third and two now. Soggy takes the handoff, cuts back through left tackle for a pickup of eight yards and a first down on Baylor's 37. Beal takes a pitch out from Humphrey and swings around left end for nine yards before he steps out of bounds. That's Schaffner flanked to the right. Humphrey calls the signals, fakes, fades, and throws. The pass intended for Schaffner, but it's short and incomplete. Humphrey keeps the ball this time, gets three yards at right guard for a first down on the 49. Soggy takes a handoff from Humphrey, blasts his way through left tackle, and weaves to the Tennessee 40, a gain of 11 yards, and another first and 10 for Baylor. Humphrey, the Bear quarterback, calls the signals, keeps the ball, picks up a yard at right tackle. Now Soggy takes a handoff, hits the middle, but he's piled up by Howe and Burnham for no gain. Humphrey fakes, fades back and passes. It's intended for Earl Miller. But Bronson at Tennessee breaks it up. Now it's fourth and nine, and Baylor in punt formation. Del Schaffner is deep. Del shoots for the coffin corner. But the ball goes into the end zone for an automatic touchback. Now it's Tennessee's ball, first and 10 on the 20. Single wing to the right. Tailback Majors cuts inside right tackle for a pickup of two yards. Single wing is to the left. Bronson breaks through the middle and charges over tacklers to the Baylor 37 before Schaffner finally hauls him down. That's a gain of 15 yards for the volunteer fullback. And there's the end of the first quarter. The score, Baylor nothing, Tennessee nothing. It's first and 10 for Tennessee and a 37 as the second period opens. Bronson, Tennessee fullback, gets center for a one-yard pickup. Single wing to the right now. Tailback Majors fakes to Bronson, fades and passes deep this time in an attempt to hit Anderson. But the toss is out of Bill's reach. Incomplete. Tennessee is penalized 15 yards. The ball placed back on the 23. Single wing right now. Majors tries to run right in. But he gets only one yard as Glass trips him up. So Tennessee goes into punt formation with Majors back. Johnny kicks. And the ball rolls dead on the Baylor 32. It's a 44-yard boot. Here's Trailer calling the signals. Hands off to Peters, and Bobby blasts through a hole in the Tennessee line, gets into the clear, and goes all the way to the 38 before Lanter brings him down. First and 10 on Tennessee's 38. Schaffner flank wide to the right. Trailer throws a lateral to Schaffner, but it's incomplete. Trailer calling the signals. Hands off to Peters. Bobby picks up two at right guard. Kalinsky making the tackle. Dupree takes a handoff from Trailer, gains two yards at the middle of the Tennessee line. That makes it fourth and six on Tennessee's 34-yard strike. Trailer, the quarterback, fading back, has good protection. And he passes. Schaffner makes a catch, but loses control of the ball as Sandlin makes a tackle. The ball goes over to the volunteer. First and ten on Tennessee's 34. Bobby Gardens come in to replace Majors at tailback. And here, Bobby quick kicks. The ball hitting on the 17 and rolling into the Baylor end zone for an automatic touchback. That makes it first and 10 for Baylor in the 20. Jones calls the signals, turns, makes that pitch out to Schaffner. Dell sprints around right end. He's picking up blockers, races up the sidelines to the 30, to the 40, past midfield, to the Tennessee 40, all the way to the Tennessee 26 before Gordon brings him down. A gain of 54 yards. And Baylor's ball on the 26 of the Volunteers. Jones gives the ball to Peters. He hits over right guard for two yards. Second and 13. Jones, a quarterback, fades, fades. He passes down the middle to Jerry Marcantel. It's good and complete for a gain of seven yards. 
Now Hickman takes a handoff over left guard for eight yards and a first down on the Tennessee 14. Jones still calling the signal. Hickman again gets a handoff. He picks up two yards this time before a horde of volunteers bring him down. Jones fades and passes. It's intended for Tony DeGrazier, but it's out of his reach. Incomplete. Quarterback Jones fades and passes again. The toss is to Fisher, but too high. Fourth and 12, Fisher flanked right. Once again, Jones is going to pass. He drops back, looks for Markintel, throws. Markintel makes the catch in the six, carries Tennessee defenders into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Baylor scores. Barry will try for the extra point. Jones holding. There's the ball, the boot. It's wide to the right. No good. Baylor leads six to nothing. Here's Bill Glass kicking off for Baylor. The ball sails into the Tennessee end zone. Garden fumbles, recovers, and the volunteers take over on their 20. Single wing to the left for Tennessee. Now Garden has the ball. He dashes inside right guard, then reverses his field, gets into the open momentarily, and down to the Tennessee 35. A gain of 15, a first down for the volunteers. The Vols have single wing left. Smith takes the ball from center, can't find a hole in the Baylor line, and he loses two yards. Again, single wing to the left. Gordon tries to run right in this time, but DeGrazier comes up to throw Bobby for a loss of five yards. Fullback Carl Smith takes a handoff from Gordon, attempts to sweep left end, but Ledbetter trips him for a loss of three. It's fourth and still ten. Tennessee in punt formation, Gordon deep. There's the snap to Bobby. He punts, and the ball carries to the Baylor 22. Fisher receives, and runs it out to the 30. Garden's kick was good for 53 yards. Baylor's ball under 30. Hickman takes a handoff from Humphrey. A two-yard gain, but the play is called back. Tennessee was offside. Second and five now on the 35. Schaffner takes a pitch out, tries to sweep right end, but Roger Urbano rushes in and throws him for a loss of eight yards. Schaffner takes a quick handoff, goes over left guard for a gain of seven. Urbano makes a tackle. Humphrey fakes, fades, and passes. It's to Beal, but Hart can't hold on to the ball. So Baylor goes into punt formation. Schaffner back. Dell's boot carries to the Tennessee 26. Garden receives, and he gets it back out to the 35 before Miller and Beal combine on the tackle. First and 10 for Tennessee on the 35. Single wing to the right. Garden the tailback, takes the ball, dashes inside Baylor's right end for a gain of seven yards. Martin and Humphrey finally running out of bounds. Tennessee has single wing left. Fullback Smith takes a handoff around right end this time for six yards before Pierce runs him out of bounds. It's a first down for Tennessee. Ball's on Tennessee's 48. Single wing to the left. Garden takes the snap from center. And he goes roaring outside right tackle. Carries to the Baylor 35. A gain of 15 yards. Tennessee in the march. The single wing to the right. Bobby Sandlin takes the ball from Garden. He swings around left end for five yards with Beal making the tackle. Second and five. Single wing to the left. Garden the tailback spot. Takes the snap. Fades to the right. Picks up blockers. Tries to run right end, but finds himself trapped. Then he spots Cruz in the end zone, and he throws a floater. Schaffner's there, too, though, and he leaps to intercept and prevent a Tennessee touchdown. And so Baylor takes over on the 20. Schaffner grabs a handoff from Humphrey, tries to sweep right end, but Roger Urbano throws Dell for a loss of two yards. Humphrey calling the signals. Beal gets a handoff, attempts to sweep left end, but he's held to a yard gain by Smith. Humphrey, the quarterback, keeps the ball, and he gets good blocking as he gains seven yards at right end. Kalinsky makes a tackle. Baylor goes into punt formation. Del Schaffner is back. Dell's punt 
rolls to the Tennessee 45, where Harrington grounds it. First and 10 for Tennessee in the 45. Al Carter is in at tailback for the Volunteers now, as they set up single wing to the right. Carter fakes and fades, but he's smothered by Lunsford and Markentell. Thrown for a loss of nine yards as the second quarter comes to a close. Scored the half, Baylor six, Tennessee nothing. With the temperature at 72 degrees, the 82,000 fans in attendance sit in shirt sleeves for the 23rd Sugar Bowl Classic. The Sugar Bowl is conducted as a civic nonprofit venture. The purpose of its sponsor is to foster clean, wholesome athletics and to interest the youth of the nation in physical fitness. Well, the halftime festivities are about to begin, so let's go down to see the entertainment. Here is Baylor University's Golden Wave Band under the direction of Mr. Donald Moore. The Baylor musicians form an outline of the state of Texas and the Majorettes locate Waco, home of the Bears. Next, the band forms the symbol of Christianity, the Cross of Christ, representing the ideals upon which Baylor University is built. The third formation is the traditional signature of the Baylor Golden Wave Band, the BU Monogram. Now here comes another delegation from the state of Texas, the Apache Bells of Tyler Junior College, the prettiest drill team in the world. Leading the Bells is the Apache Princess, Linnell Lowell, exhibition twirler. The Bells swing their skirts in rhythm as they prance down the field. And they do a rock and roll step. Then pose prettily as they conclude their performance. This is the Tennessee band directed by Major Walter Riva. Its first formation is a quarter and then a half moon. Next, the musicians form a champagne glass and serenade New Orleans. And then the band forms the monogram UT and marches off the field. Now we're ready for the start of the third quarter. Tennessee kicks off to begin the second half. Baylor receiving, Burke Glow booting the ball. It carries to Baylor's 11. Peters fumbles, but recovers for a two-yard return before Cruz and Burnham bring him down on the 13. It's first and 10 for Baylor in the 13-yard line. Jones calling the signal. He keeps, tries right guard, but gains only one yard. This time, Schaffner takes the handoff, breaks through the left side of the Tennessee line and goes to the 26, a gain of 12 yards. It's first down, 10 yards to go. Schaffner takes the handoff, hits left tackle, but Gordy stops him. The Bears were offside in that play. The ball's moved back to the 21. Peters takes the handoff. He goes over right guard for three. Johnson and Raider in for the stop. Quarterback Jones fakes handoff. He keeps the ball, fades, and then ducks away from Urbano and laterals to Schaffner. Dell attempts to sweep left end, but he's thrown for a loss of three yards. Baylor goes into punt formation. Schaffner deep. His boot carries to the Tennessee 41. Majors fumbles the ball, but falls on it at the 46. However, Baylor is penalized 15 yards for piling on and the ball's put on the bear 39. Tennessee in command off the single wing right. Majors cuts back off the left side for nine yards before Schaffner comes up to check his advance. Tennessee sets up the single wing right again. Majors the tailback, hits left tackle, picks up four yards and a first down before he's stopped by Lunsford and Markentell. The ball on Baylor's 26 yard line, single wing right. On the draw play, Bronson goes up the middle to the 20-yard line, a gain of six. Balls line up with a single wing to the left. Majors finds a hole at right tackle and darts to the Baylor 13, a gain of seven yards. Single wing shifts to the right. Majors goes off left tackle and picks up about four yards, but the play is being called back. Tennessee is penalized 15 yards for holding. That puts the ball on the Baylor 26. 
Single wing to the right. Majors the tailback. Fakes a pass. Races around left end. And he goes to the Baylor 12. A gain of 14 yards on this play. Tennessee's ball in the Baylor 12-yard line. Single wing is to the right. Johnny Majors the tailback. Waiting for the snap of the ball. He takes it. Cuts inside right in for five yards before Jones brings him down. Single wing to the left. And Johnny Majors carries for the fifth consecutive time. He gains two yards at left tackle, and it's a first down on the Baylor three-yard strike. Tennessee in the single wing right. Bronson, the fullback, leaps over the middle of the line, but he's thrown back, gets only a yard. That makes it second down, two yards to go for the goal line. Tennessee sets up, single wing to the right. Johnny Majors receives the snap. He's going to try to sweep right in, but Shawker turns him in, and Soggy makes a tremendous tackle. Just short of the goal, single wing to the left. Johnny Majors in the tailback position. Takes the ball. Tears loose from Harrington's grasp, and he swings left into the end zone for the touchdown. Tennessee scores. Berklow will try for the extra point. Major spots the ball. There's the boot. It's good. Tennessee leads 7-6. to six. Now Berklow kicks off for the Volunteers. And his boot carries to the Baylor 13. Beal takes it in and returns to the 25 before Burnham and Johnson nail him down. Beal takes a handoff, hits left tackle for a gain of a yard. Gordy making the stop. Hickman grabs a handoff, hits right tackle, but Gordy stops him at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Here's Beal taking the pitch out. He attempts to sweep left end, but Bronson comes up for the tackle, and Art loses two yards. Baylor is penalized 15 yards for personal foul, and the ball goes back to the Bears' nine. Baylor goes into punt formation with Hickman deep. Hickman punts from his end zone. The ball rolls to Baylor's 42, where Majors grounds it. So it becomes Tennessee's ball, first and 10 on the Baylor 42-yard line. Single wing thrown over to the left. Bronson, the fullback, takes it, smacks into the middle of the Baylor line, and picks up five. Second down. Majors, tailback, takes a snap. He fakes, fades, throws deep to Cruz, but Beal breaks it up and almost intercepts it. Third down, five yards to go for Tennessee. Majors has the ball. He skirts left end for a gain of four yards, but Tennessee was offside on that play. Tennessee from the single wing left. Gives the ball to Majors. He's going to pass, but he can't find a receiver open. Bradshaw and Dixon break through the pocket and throw Johnny for a loss of six yards. So Tennessee goes into punt formation. Majors deep, takes a snap from center. And his boot carries deep in the Baylor's end zone. But both teams were offside on the play. And it's called back. Majors punts again. The ball again rolls into the end zone. This time it's put in play by the Bears on their 20. First and 10 for Baylor. Beal takes a handoff over left guard, and it's a gain of five yards in the play. Humphrey hands off to Dupree. Charlie picks up a yard at right guard. Humphrey calling the signals. He keeps the ball, gains three yards at right tackle before Gordy brings him down. It's a quarterback sneak. Humphrey gains two yards at center and a first down for Baylor on the 31. Humphrey, the quarterback, calling the signals. Dupree takes a handoff over left tackle for a three-yard pickup. The 
This time Humphrey hands to Farrell Fisher and he goes through the middle of the Tennessee line for a gain of six. Third down, one yard to go. Again, Fisher takes a handoff. He hits left guard, goes to the 42, and it's a first down. Humphrey hands off to Beal for a yard gain at right guard. Atkins and Raider make the stop. Now Humphrey keeps and goes over left tackle for eight yards. That's the end of the third quarter with a score, Tennessee seven, Baylor six. The final period begins as Trailer replaces Humphrey at quarterback for Baylor. Trailer gives to Soggy, and Soggy goes all the way to the Tennessee 34, a gain of 15 yards. Majors and Bobby Urbano bring him down. Trailer, the quarterback, hands off to Schaffner. And Dell gets three yards at right guard. Soggy takes a handoff, fumbles. There's a scramble for the ball. Peters recovers. But Baylor was holding on the play and is penalized 15 yards. Now Trailer fades. He's rushed hard by Cruz and lobs a pass to Marcantel. Jerry makes a catch on the 39, a gain of five yards. Trailer fakes, aids to pass. Looking for a receiver, he's smothered by Gordy and Roger Urbano and loses nine yards. So Baylor goes into punt formation. Schaffner boots. The ball carries to the Tennessee seven. Ronnie Majors, the tailback, gathers it in. He runs to the 15, but suddenly he fumbles. Majors loses the ball. Soggy recovers for Baylor on Tennessee's 15. First down and 10 yards to go for Baylor on the Tennessee 15-yard line, and Humphrey replaces Trailer at quarterback. Here's Schaffner. He takes a handoff of a right tackle. He picks up four yards. Schaffner carries again, and again he picks up four yards, this time at left guard. The ball is on the Tennessee 7. Again, Schaffner gets the ball, and he picks up two yards at left guard, enough for a first down on the Tennessee 5. Humphrey calls a signal. Keeps for a moment, then pitches to Peters. And Bobby gets three yards at left end before the Volunteers gang up to bring him down. Taylor has the ball on the two-yard line now. Humphrey hands off to Peters. Bobby hits right guard for a one-yard pickup, but still short of the goal. Ball spotted on the one-yard line of Tennessee. Humphrey of Baylor calls a signal. He keeps the ball, plunges over center, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Baylor scores. Barry will attempt the conversion. Jones holding. The kick is good. Baylor leads 13 to 7. Now Oliver kicks off for Baylor. And the boot carries to the Tennessee 19. Anderson gathers it in. He runs it out to the 30, where Schaffner makes the tackle. Tennessee's ball, single wing right. Fullback Smith sweeps left end for a gain of three yards before Clark and Pierce can bring him down. Again, the single wings to the right. Majors, the tailback, hits the middle of the Baylor line, picks up three yards in this play. Tailback Majors runs to the right, then jumps and passes quickly to Roger Urbano, who runs to the Baylor 48, a gain of 16 yards before Schaffner and Oliver make the tackle. Single wing to the left this time. Fullback, Smith, he bangs into the middle of the Baylor line, but is thrown back for a loss of a yard. Johnny Majors fakes, fades to the left. He passes, but it's incomplete. Tennessee is penalized for having an ineligible man downfield, and the ball is moved back to the 36. Johnny Majors in the tailback spot, gets the ball from center, runs back to the right, it's a deep one intended for Anderson, but Jones intercepts for Baylor on the 31. Races back to the 42 where he slips and falls. But it's Baylor's ball, first and 10 now, on her 42-yard line. Overton's in at quarterback for the Bears. And Fisher takes a handoff for three at left guard. Overton, the quarterback, keeps. Gains three yards at right tackle. Herzbrun makes the tackle. Now Soggy takes a handoff from Overton, picks up three yards and a crack at right guard. 
That makes it fourth down and one yard to go. And Baylor runs over to tries a sneak, but he fails to make first down as the Tennessee line holds firm. The ball goes over to the Volunteers on their 49-yard line. And now Bobby Gordon's in a tailback for Tennessee. He takes a snap, gets left tackle, gains six yards before Overton and Glass check in. Tennessee with the ball. Garden carrying again. He moves to the Baylor 42, a gain of three yards on this play. Volunteers with a single wing to the left. Garden again with the ball. Sweeps the Baylor left end for nine yards before Overton and Glass run him out of bounds. It's first and ten for Tennessee. The ball's on Baylor's 33-yard line. Single wing to the right, and Garden again with the ball. He tries to sweep left end, but Ledbetter breaks through, trips Bobby for a loss of four yards. Garden calls for the ball, and he has it. Leaps and passes, but it's incomplete, intended for Anderson. Third down, 14 yards to go. Garden, the tailback spot for Tennessee. He fades to pass, but he's rushed hard by Oliver and Dixon and thrown back to the Tennessee 47. A loss of 16 yards. Now Johnny Majors replaces Bobby Garden at tailback for Tennessee. Majors takes the snap from center, fades. He's going to throw to Bronson. But the ball just misses Tommy's fingertips. Incomplete. And the ball goes over to Baylor on the 47. Trailer in at quarterback for the Bears. Pavliska takes the handoff for a gain of three yards. Schaffner gets this handoff. Makes only a yard at right guard. Baker takes a handoff, attempts a left end sweep, but fails to gain as Bronson makes a tackle. Baylor is forced to punt. Leading 13 to 7 over Tennessee. Schaffner aims for the sideline. And punts out of bounds on Tennessee's 26. Al Carter is in a tailback for the Volunteers. Single wing to the left. Carter takes a snap, fades, and he's going to pass. He throws one deep. It's intended for Cruz, but Beal intercepts for Baylor on the 40-yard line. The game is almost over now. Baylor in control. Trailer hands off to Soggy. He smashes up the middle for a gain of one yard. Trailer, the quarterback, keeps, sneaks at the middle for a gain of two yards. And that's the end of the game. Baylor wins 13-7. Coach Wyatt of Tennessee gives Baylor's coach Sam Boyd a congratulatory handshake. The 23rd annual Sugar Bowl, one of the most thrilling of all time, is now history. See you all next New Year's Day.